So Rebecca, we used just openly available census data okay. for the populations and then also demographic data uh, that are layer specific to some Esri GIS tools that we were using. Uh -huh. And then we integrated all of the location data from our different food distribution organizations to map the locations and relate those to the the at-risk population that we are trying to serve. So in this case, it was mapping the amount of children in poverty within the city and then overlaying our food distribution locations mm -hmm. with one mile walk radius or one mile walk buffers to ensure that we were covering all the, the highest need areas. And the main thing that I would suggest to anyone trying to look into uh, this type of issue or a similar issue using GIS is to again identify your, your at-risk population, get those mapped so that you can have a good starting point of mm -hmm. then overlaying where are we giving support versus where we might need to increase the amount of support that we're giving to that specific issue. Yeah, and it's interesting you use those one mile walk uh, buffers. Um, why did you choose walking and, and those buffers? How did you go get to that? That's a good question, and it's definitely a point of differentiation. Um, depending on where you're conducting a project like this, we've talked mm -hmm. to the College of Charleston that's doing this broadly across uh, a bigger area in the Carolinas to look at food insecurity. And in urban areas, the mm -hmm. one mile walk radius or the one mile walk distance is appropriate. We want to ensure that. Um, poor families, poor individuals who don't have ac reliable access to transportation are within mm -hmm. a reasonable walking distance right. to a food right. distribution location. As you as you move a model like this out into more rural areas, that would have to be adjusted. Um, you just have to dig into the population and um, figure out what the appropriate distance is based on transport public transportation availability and private transportation availability. We yeah. work with Cincinnati Children's in the city to to find the most appropriate distance to use and we settle on that one mile walk. Just a meal within a mile was kind of the goal of the project. Yeah, yeah, and that's cool to see that you worked with those other organizations who have other insights about what makes sense there to come up with it together.